Hello. Hello, my name is Fuji. I'm from Budapest, Hungary, and today we are going to eat sukiyaki. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever tried sukiyaki? No, never. I haven't eaten sukiyaki before, even though I'm living in Japan, it's been more than a year. Mmm, nice. Yeah, sukiyaki is one of my favorite dishes. Oh, really? I hope you will like I it. Hope so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. Okay, come by. What's going on? This is this is just appetizer. Appetizer. It's mm. like spinach mm. and mushrooms. mushrooms. Purple and the yellow one. Are... Flowers. Flowers. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. It tastes like flowers. <laughs> I graduated in Hungary. Mm -hmm. And then the next week I already moved to Japan. Oh really? <laughs> so what made you come here? Um, when I first came to Japan it was 2018. Oh. I came for like university summer program. And that time I started learning Japanese. My university had a collaboration with Tokyo University. Oh. That I could go to, you know, Tokyo University yeah. and then meet like Japanese people and learn with them. We had also Japanese classes and but we had like travel and free time. And that time I was really interested in living in Tokyo. So I decided that after graduation Not the, how to say, it's more soft than I imagine. Oh, I see. Yeah. He said, like, with kind of miso mm. flavors. Mm. Actually, this restaurant is pretty specialized for miso sukiyaki. Oh. Not like a typical sukiyaki. I see. Yeah. Sukiyaki usually is with miso. No, sukiyaki it's usually comes with so, kind of soy sauce base. Soy sauce base. Yeah. So, how do you like Japan? Actually, when I first came here, I was already thinking about moving here. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's better to visit once and spend a little time before you sure. really make a decision like that. Especially working here, you know, it's really different than just coming here as a tourist mm -hmm. because you can do what you want. Right. But working here, I have to do the same exact things like a Japanese worker getting up early, riding the train. <laughs> Pack train, Pack train in the morning. Also, yeah, I remember the first time experiencing it. Mm -hmm. well, I don't say it was bad because it was more like, yeah, this is it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is you already knew it. Yeah. What's the red? It's a uh, plum. Plum. Yeah. So it's a bit sour. Like sour. Yeah. It's a bit weird. A bit smoky. Yeah, it is a bit smoky. Mm. But it's not like completely raw. Mm. Yeah, it's good. I never had sushi with fish. <laughs> Usually, I like every kind of Japanese food. Mm -hmm. so. I even like makto. Oh, really? Which is it? I know it. Mm. Maybe I like the previous one better. Because it's softer, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Guys, I met for the previous mm. my channel videos. They showed me a lot of pictures of Budapest. Oh. Yeah, it looks so good, like oh, very beautiful. So, what's the most famous tourist place in Budapest? You know, onsen is like really famous in Japan. Yeah. And we also have a lot of fast in like Budapest. It's a bit different from Japanese onsen because you have to wear it. Ah. The most famous one is a really huge Se yellow Se 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 yes. ah, Se I've Se never been there. Oh, yeah. Other that I would recommend, maybe the like Buddha Castle. Buddha Castle. Yeah, mm. you can have a really good view of the whole city. Mm. You can see the chain bridge, the parliament. Every Japanese knows about Rubik's Cube. Oh, Rubik's Cube. Ah, Hungarian. is that from? Yes, Hungarian. <laughs> Hungarian. Hungarian. Like he's living still. He's alive. Mm. And maybe I don't know people who like wine tasting. Oh, wine, wine is also well, famous. Quite famous yeah. How about sake? Mm. 
I like it too. Mm -hmm. Recently, what I had and I really liked it, hot I really, I recently tried that and I really liked it. Really fresh taste. Yeah. Yeah. If we wanna try, you can try it now. <laughs> it's pretty interesting for the video. It's like uh, three kinds of sake. Okay. You can compare. I think from Karakuchi dry to the sweetest. It tastes like the sake that I usually tried before. Hakai san? Hakai san is also dry. Mm. Honestly, yeah. But yeah, similar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one by one. one Compare. Mm -hmm. It's much more sweet than the previous one. Like the taste of flour. Yes. It's the sweetest. Good. <laughs> Maybe I like the most, yeah, oh. most dry one. Mm, dry one. Yeah. Mm. And the beefs um, come from Yamagata Prefecture Yamagata in north Prefecture. of Japan. Yeah. And we call it Yonezawa beef. Yonezawa. You gotta mix it up. Little eggs. Little eggs. This would be the sauce with oh, I see. beef. Outside of Japan, however, in Hungary also, or in Europe, we cannot eat raw <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's bad for the yeah. stomach. Have you ever tried Hungarian food? Hungarian foods? What is typical Hungarian foods? I think the most typical one is called guyash. It's a soup, mm -hmm. kind of like stew soup. It's guyash is made of like beef stew with vegetables and also paprika powder okay. mixed together. Yes, and, and then put in a row egg, okay. dip in sauce. And I told to my family that I'm eating raw egg. <laughs> they were like, take care. <laughs> Here I am eating yeah. raw egg. <laughs> It's really soft. I don't feel the taste of the egg. It's good. It's good. Do you have your sisters or brothers? No, I'm only child. Oh, you're only child? Mm. Oh, your parents should be so worried about you. Actually, both of them really like Japan mm. and Japanese culture, mm -hmm. especially my dad. Since I was a child, he, he always told me he really loves Japan and Japanese culture. He never been to Japan though. So they were completely okay with the fact that I'm moving to Japan and they were more worried about that part that like language and culture mm. more about that maybe they can come here to I visit you so yeah <laughs> not this year <laughs> you know this year yeah <laughs> not this year but I think I'm next year I'm, maybe yeah <laughs> Now it's really deep. <laughs> mm. Okay. Bye. 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 I don't really get drunk that much. Oh. I never, I don't have experience that I don't remember. Oh, okay. What no. Bad experience. No, I didn't throw up or something. Oh. Never, 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 never. No sleep on the streets. No. <laughs> I think in Europe you can sleep on ah, the streets. I, I think you can we see have the In Japan, you can see salary men. 
yeah. sleeping on the streets. I think it, it, that shows the most how much Japanese is safe. Like, uh -huh. you, know, like, uh -huh. you know, your phone is on the floor yeah. and your bag is in the other. <laughs> I think Europeans know that even if you drink, you have to be able to get yourself. I see. Yeah. Japan is super safe. <laughs> yeah, in that sense, in yes. <laughs> I really like sukiyaki, so I'm glad I became for sukiyaki. I recommend it to everyone who haven't tried it yet. Raw egg is also nice. Yeah, especially that you know that it's safe in Japan. <laughs> Okay, thank you. The name of my YouTube channel is my name. It's Fuji. Yeah. Okay, I'll put the link of the channel in the description. So, Alright, thank you. Bye.